What's up guys, I'm Random Frank Freckles. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Back with episode 106 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best gaming setups. Hopefully this gives you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup, that's the whole series goal. And if you see anything you like, like a cool keyboard, headset, a mouse, anything like that, I'll have all the products listed in the description down below. But let's start off episode 106. And kicking it off, we have Robin here with this really awesome gaming room. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. Dare I call it a gamer's paradise. His dedicated desk setup is complete with triple monitors plus a mounted overhead display up top. With the RGB lights, it's all organized. This is looking crazy. I love the blend of the blue and the green here. It makes for a really cool look. So checking it out, those bottom three monitors are 24 inch displays from LG. And that overhead is a 42 inch TV from Hitachi. Again, just beautifully mounted here. Great job on that. Then as for his peripherals, he's rocking the Corsair Gaming K70 keyboard with MX Cherry blue switches inside. Complementing that with the Logitech Proteus Spectrum mouse. And that's along an Aki extended desk mat here with us some speakers in the background, not too sure what those are unfortunately. But now we're going to check out the PC, and this is the Corsair 230T case. In the daytime it looks scaled back, but once the lights are off and the RGB lights shine, this thing comes to life. Inside is an Intel i5 4690 CPU with the Corsair H55 AIO on a gigabyte motherboard, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and we got two Sapphire R9 280Xs in SLI here. Not bad, not bad at all. Then even for some extra interior lighting here to his room, gotta get that flare going on. He even has some warm lighting underneath that like pulses and just adds a whole extra glow to his room overall. Definitely pretty cool stuff, but for a dedicated room like this, you know, this is just as good as it gets. Really clean, tidy, organized. I really like that, but just his desk setup is amazing. Great job on cable management. Everything is extremely level here. Love the RGB accents behind the monitors. Really great. Next up, we got the return of Fury Pixel showing off his dual gaming setup here. This one is definitely pretty crazy, kind of hard to keep up here, so try to pay attention. This is his productivity setup, and those are both 24-inch ASUS monitors, the VX24AH, their 2K resolution. Got those Nano Leaf Aurora RGB panels mounted on the wall. But check out his peripherals, he has the ASUS ROG Spatha Gaming Mouse, paired with the Cooler Master Master Keys S Pro RGB Gaming Keyboard on the MM800 RGB Polaris mouse pad from Corsair. The RGB is strong with this one. And then as for his headset here, he's rocking two with the Asus ROG Strix wireless gaming headset as well as the Razer Kraken Chroma headset. I know I'm going quick, but there's a lot to cover here, like I said. This is the Corsair Air 540 case, and inside is an Intel i7 6800K CPU with the Cooler Master Master Liquid Pro AIO on an Asus X99 Deluxe 2 motherboard. We got 32 gigabytes of a Vixer Raiden RGB RAM and an Asus GTX 1070 graphics card. But as for this productivity, and gaming setup here, it's definitely looking nice. But now we're gonna head over to his streaming station pretty much, which is entirely different on the other side of the room. So mounted on the wall is a 40 inch Samsung TV. And he can kick back and use the Razer turret with this for his peripherals. But for this red eye PC, this is the Aircool P7CO Pro case. Inside is an i5 4700 CPU with an Aircool Verco cooler. We got 16 gigabytes of some Team T-Force Nighthawk RAM. It's on an ROG Strix Z270G gaming motherboard and an Asus Strix GTX 10. 50 Ti. So Fury Pixel here with the gear locked down from productivity to gaming and everything in between, RGB for days, all in this bedroom setup here, definitely pretty nuts. I don't mean like pretty nuts, but you get this. Anywho, this one is a Wolverine theme setup here that goes the extra mile in terms of customization to really fit that Wolverine theme. It's damn near impressive. So taking a look, his main display is actually a 43 inch Sony TV. Seems to somehow be mounted towards the window, but of course you got the Wolverine wallpaper and the vinyl wraps on the PC and the PS4 and stuff like that. But checking out his peripherals, that is the Corsair Gaming K63 keyboard, obviously wrapped in yellow, with the Corsair Harpoon mouse and a custom Ducky One OMG mouse pad here. Yeah, they were all yellow. And like I said, the attention to detail here, that extra mile, got those little uh, cutout scratches here, they even wraps for the PS4 controller. I love seeing dedication like this. And over to the PC, of course, it does not stop. Inside we have an i7-6700K CPU with 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM. 
Sonic Gigabyte Z170X Gaming 5 motherboard, and a Gigabyte GTX 1070 G1 graphics card, but you know it, it's all Wolverine themed, custom everywhere. So props for that, you got your PC, you got your PS4 and that little glass desktop riser there, you can do whatever you want and you love some X-Men. Now this is a setup that is extremely minimal, and you guys know I got a soft spot for setups like this, but I mean come on, how, how could I not include it? It's so organized and I love everything about it. So taking a look at it, it is an Asus PG348Q, that 34 inch ultra wide, definitely looking nice. Some Chinese food off to the right, JK, that's a lamp. <laughs> but for the peripherals, you have a Ducky One white TKL keyboard with a Logitech G900 Chaos Spectrum mouse. Definitely loving the choice of keyboard here. They ditched the stock keycaps. It went for this nice soft, like blue with a pink rainbow gradient here. I love when I see when I see some custom keyboards, and this one just fits in really nicely with the overall color theme as well. And as for headphones, we got a pair of the III modular headphones. I actually did a review of these way back in like 2014 when I had like three subs. Fun fact. But hidden underneath the desk is his PC. This is the Fractal Design Define R5 case in white, and inside is an i7-7700K CPU with the Noctua NHD15S CPU cooler. 16 gigs of some HyperX Fury RAM. Can't really see it though. With an MSI GTX 1080 Armor 8G OC Edition graphics card. It's the one I've been rocking. And off to the side, a nice and organized shelf there with some records and stuff like that. I'm sure you know what guitar that is, I don't, but all together, really loving this minimal setup. It is insanely simple. Love that stuff. And then returning yet again, we have him on like every three months, something like that, is Corey from the I'm Face Roll YouTube channel. And this is another crazy awesome custom PC that he's made, and he's just one of the best out there when it comes to making custom PCs. This one, obviously, as you can see, uh, it, it's no different. It's crazy. It, it's very unique. That's what I love about his stuff. Most of the things that we get from him, it's just so unique. Love it. This one's called Project Cognition. And what's really cool about it is it blends, like, you know, modern day aesthetics with all these RGB lights and these colorful lights inside with, like, the whole kind of steampunk look to it with those wheels and, you know, the copper tube fittings and stuff like that. So I like how it blends, you know, like a futuristic and rustic look at the same time. But as for the specs, I'll try to give you the rundown here. He actually used the Fantex N2 Evolve ATX case with some tempered glass, but, you know, a side panel off to show you the goods. And inside is an AMD Ryzen 7 1800. X CPU. We got some uh, G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM. That's up with the Asus ROG Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard with two Asus ROG Strix GTX 1080 Ti graphics cards. Again, all water cooled. But check out that custom, you know, front panel with the, the etching and stuff to go along with that theme. Got that blend of steampunk with the RGB lights shining through. You guys gotta just give him some love here. Like I said, uh, it's the I Am Face Roll Gaming. Go over and check out his YouTube channel. But I, I love when he submits these custom uh, pieces. PCs. He submitted like close to 10 earlier today. This is just one of the few. Definitely one of my all-time favorites. Well, that'll wrap it up for episode 106 of Room Tour Project. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, check the description down below for all the products you saw. I have them listed down there for you in case you want to pick something up. As well as some simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered to be on a future episode of Room Tour Project. Just check the description down below for everything. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day.